So today, we were playing the Ranger class, and I'm not going to deny, we may have high rolled with a certain unique item called Gingerbread Jerry, and your band of merry pets. But hey, check it out, and let me know what you think of it. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and jump into some ranked games with the Ranger class, and see what we can do today. We've got a few options here, I'm going to go for the broom. I'm going to also go for the dagger. That's going to be a lot of DPS, I'm going to actually go and take this pocket sand as well. We actually want a Goober tier instead of the wooden buckler here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Goober tier. And have it like so. As for one gold, are we going to want to reroll here? Yeah. Nice, we have some options here. Leaning kinda heavily towards a frying pan. So I'm gonna reserve it and we're gonna move on. Our TPS should be pretty good here. Our survivability is decent with the Goobert. However, is it gonna be enough? Yeah, it should be enough, definitely. Especially again at that Reaper Pass. Awesome, we got a short bow here. If we like it. I do want this frame pan. I do also want this banana, but we can't actually really afford to fit it in. I'm gonna sell our pocket then. I'm gonna buy this banana. I'm gonna reroll once. And yeah, I'm gonna sell a dagger here as well. We are going to need that storage. Let's add in our pan here and craft up a shovel. And keep moving on. We could have actually removed our wooden sword here. That was probably the play because our stamina usage is a very high right now. Our DPS should be crazy though. Our survivability with our Goobert is going to be just barely enough to scrape by here. Just pausing the video here very quickly just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. Now, we have a shovel. Our stamina usage is back down to normal here. We could go for a torch. I'm going to go for a piggy bank here though be a little bit greedy. Healing herbs for some sustain also sounds pretty good, but I'm gonna reroll here. I will take another leather bag. We could go for a second shovel. Is that something we like? Not really. And I'm not gonna be taking any of these items. We should move this around. So at least we're getting one trigger. Off in our Gooberts. This should be good for now. We could actually remove our wooden sword here and go for a broom, it'll be more DPS than the wooden sword. Potentially, actually. Depends on the cooldown. But it also gives us survivability with inflicting blind here. This berserker is looking quite scary. They have a lot of sustain. They don't have a whole lot of DPS. They could have actually had more DPS if they had this in a better position, but they don't. We're in fatigue and they are just in battle rage. Yeah, they're actually going to win here, which is kind of mad. Oh well, we actually got offered a unique item here. Gingerbread Jerry, start a battle, gain 40 max HP. Every 3 seconds, use luck, heat, and mana, and gain 1 in power, 3 regeneration, and 20 max life. Well, we have to take this unique. We're going to be trying out Gingerbread Jerry. Let's go ahead and craft up a torch, which we probably should have done earlier. Gingerbread Jerry is going to be super interesting to our build. Do we want a stamina sack? I'm going to leave it for now. We still have a couple slots open. Gingerbread Jerry, we could have actually slotted in in this position here, would have been better. But I'm leaning kind of heavily towards Mega Clover with Gingerbread Jerry here. We're going to begin the Pyromancer, they're going to have guaranteed crits. If they stack up 15 heat here, we are in big trouble. However, their accuracy is getting decreased here. Which could work out in our favour here. With the same amount of max HP, even though they have their fire pit filled up, that's chanked to Jerry here. But yeah, we managed to survive here. Our DPS is pretty terrible here. We got a pocket sand. Pretty happy about that. Our DPS should have got a little bit higher with a torch. Do we want a, another piggy bank? For that look. Or do we want a hungry blade here? I'm not going to take the hungry blade even though it is four. Actually, we can just buy it and sell it. Because it costs four, it sells for four. Blueberries for mana, we are going to need for Gingerbread Jerry. We'll add it in here, so it's a trigger for our Gooberts. We want Fanny Pack, that's also a bird. The DPS on this is going to be similar to the Torch, however, you have a more max damage. Yeah, your DPS is 2.1, but well, this is 1.8. So it actually is better to have this in over the Torch, especially the stamina consumption is lower as well. So we are going to remove it and add this in. And we are going to sell our torch here. After crafting it up and everything. Gives us a lot more room 
to look for some items here. Could go for monitors, especially with gingerbread jerry. We just need a way to generate up heat. I'm going to have a quick look and remove these items and look for heat generation. I put it on the Reaper, I meant on the Ranger. And the only heat generation we have is burning coal, burning torch, and ruby up here. So maybe we should have actually kept the burning torch and removed our shovel here. But that's going to be okay. We continue on. I'm going to begin a, another ranger class with a hammer. They're probably setting up for a hammer dagger build. However, they have no... Yeah, they are. They're crafting up a piggy bank here. They're going to try and get that done here. However, it's more important to go and look for the piggy banks earlier on rather than later because they're common items and the common rarities super early on. Now we have a mana thirst, which is going to be incredibly awesome. First, it's going to be generating up mana. We're going to be taking a stamina sack here. Let's add in our garlic for now that we just dug up. I'm going to reroll here. That is a pineapple for some spike generation and some healing, which is quite awesome here. Close the haste for to be generating up more triggers on our mana thirst. Might actually be good here. Pineapple. Let's sell our garlic for a pineapple. Get that spikes going. Club the crystal, kind of nice, but it's not going to take it. Ekron collar is an item I'm definitely, definitely going to take here. Box of riches, not going to take. Funny back. Yeah, we're going to take. Before we move on. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's see what we can achieve. We're going to begin a berserker with some damage, actually, with their hero sword. They do have scaling regeneration with the bananas, as well as the gubert, which could be pretty strong here. However, our accuracy decreasing is going to be pretty good for us. We'll see if they miss so far. Didn't look like they missed whatsoever. But uh, we stacked up a lot of mana there. This is going to be awesome. We are definitely going to be taking this ruby egg. We're going to be taking the storage. Also, flute for scaling luck as well. We're going to want as well. We have a lot of items. We're going to need to fit in. We might remove our piggy bank for now and add in a ruby egg. And let's roll once to see if we can find anything, find any storage. But let's save our gold now. Piggy bank, I'm actually going to hold on to. We're going to sell. I took one of our items. But it's looking for that storage. Because we're going to have to keep it in our inventory anyway. This ranger class, not looking too bad. They are probably trying to set up for a hammer dagger build every time i see a hammer on a ranger that's the build i'm thinking of it is super super awesome place super strong but yeah this one's not even gonna be close here we're just powering on through we got our fifth life back and now we got to choose our subclass here so we are looking to scale up heat if you had a burning torch here it wouldn't have mattered all that too much the ruby egg is going to be just as good the shovel has been Helping us out quite a bit here, compared to keeping that torch here. As for which subclass we'd like, I would love to go with the Mega Clover here to actually try and find another unique item, because we do have the Gingerbread Jerry here. We could actually go with the Big Ball of Treats here. We do have a pet, two pets, and a lot of food items. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go with the Big Ball of Fruits here. I was leaning more towards the Mega Clover, however... This is actually going to be really, really awesome for us. We're going to move stuff around here. And try to get this working down a little bit better here. We got our food situation quite nicely now. We'd actually like to have it a little bit better. We are going to be taking... This is a mana generation. I don't think we actually want that much mana generation. We do want the aircon color for some more damage output. Piggy bank we can add back in. Flutes here for scaling luck. Yeah, we're going to need flutes. And yeah, let's just roll on. Let's save our gold. Let's move on. Going to begin a Reaper with Blood Torn. They're going to be scaling up for generation. The heart container. So they are going to be scaling up their damage that way. However, we are going to be scaling up. Everything else. And yeah, we actually lost here. 
Their damage output went kind of crazy here. We got a squirrel here. Every four seconds, steal a random buff. Tags 15% for each pet or food. We are going to be taking the squirrel here. Do we still want flutes? Yeah. As for anything else here, we are going to be looking. We are definitely going to be taking a penny back here. You require three slots, don't you? Like so. And then you require two. We'll fix this in a second. As for the Lucky Clover, I'm going to reroll here. So unfortunately, we didn't exactly get the items I want here. Do we just sell this now? I'm thinking we are going to sell it. I think it's time we sell the shovel. We're going to have our pets in a little bit of a better situation. So welcome back to our setup for right now. We have a Gubert in the center with our Mana Thirst and our Ruby up here. So we got a big ball of treats here with all our food items around it. And we actually have a squirrel. As for any of these other items, I'm going to sell and I'm going to reroll. Awesome. Looking for that storage. We just sell like so. We could also take a practically large great sword. With the big ball of fruits and the cars. Could sound potentially good here. We'll move on. We'll see how this goes. Our DPS could be pretty low here, but we'll see. What we can do again, this Berserker, they're going to be scaling damage with a frying pan and the brass knuckles. They're going to be stacking max life with their cheese. However, look at the buffs that we have so far. Kind of crazy, actually. Okay, this has been going really crazy. It's been going really crazy. Let's go ahead and look. Also, another pineapple. Looking for some food items. As well as some pets. So we'll be taking a potion belt. Are we going to take up another pineapple? Yeah, most definitely. We are. Do we want this to be triggering? Faster? Stacking up spikes like crazy? Probably. But we'll just go with this for now. We actually don't really necessarily need the banana because all we have is the mana thirst. And that doesn't use up a whole lot of stamina here. This pyromancer, they're not going to be stacking up too much flames. Too much heat. We shouldn't have much of a problem here. That's awesome. We change red Jerry here. It's going kind of crazy here. Just going to look at something here. Use one heat. You give us a lot of regeneration. Change red Jerry. Yeah, you're giving us regeneration. What else do you give us? Empower. You are give us empower too. Only three empower though. We could actually take the impractical large great sword. Then finally, max health. Let's see here. Back towards the start. Okay, you start scaling up some max HP. But yeah. Before we move on, I just wanted to check the DPS of our team so far. Manitaurus doing 7.2, Ruby Alp doing 6.5, and Spikes doing 5.2. Our opponent's DPS looking kind of crazy too, but to be honest, not as good as ours. And I want to check the heals very, very quickly here. Towards the end, our Goobert healing us quite a bit, our regeneration doing small bits here. Banana, pineapple, not doing too crazy here. But yeah, this is actually kind of awesome here. Is there any items we'd like here? We could take a hard container for even more mana regeneration. However, I'm going to roll. Looking for more pets. We could actually go for a rainbow goobert here. Imagine rainbow goobert with the big bullet treats here. However, do we even want a stamina sack? I'm going to take it just for the storage. Some more blueberries here. If we scale up the mana, we are scaling accuracy, which in turn you use to gain in power. Especially on a cost one, I will be taking it. That is another squirrel. You could be stealing a lot of buffs for us. However, we have to try fit you in if we want you. That's also a bird, which is also another pet, which does remove luck. Again, Ranger Bills, this is a seriously good counter. We might actually remove our piggy bank for now. We'll add in our squirrel. Like this. More blueberries. Do we even want more blueberries? Do we want a bird? Can we even fit in a bird? Not right now, but we're going to take it anyway. 
I'm just gonna move on like this. We have a ruby up to generate up that flame, which Gingerbread Jerry uses it. And then it does everything else. Are we gonna be able to outpace this poison stack and Reaper class? They're stacking up a lot of poison, but yeah. We actually are going through. Pretty awesomely. Our semi usage is so low as well. And we actually got a hedgehog here. Every five seconds deal 10 damage, increased by 0 0.5 per spike. Health traps below 70%, gain two spikes and 10 block. Yeah, we're gonna be taking the hedgehog here. As for the bird, we can fit you in over here and like so. We do let, lose that crit chance though. Also, you can crit now as well. Yeah. So we might actually want to focus you over near the second color here. But a bird's gonna go crazy here, making all our items trigger that much faster here. We are going to be taking another Ruby Whelp, even though it is in the final round here. We want that heat from the start of battle here. And I'm going to reroll here. Awesome. And yet another little thing to add in a Lucky Clover. And yeah, we're going to continue on. We're going to get a lot stronger with this Ruby Whelp. Gingerbread Jerry here going crazy for us. Giving us all these buffs, giving us max life. And going insane with the big ball of trees. Can't believe I was gonna go with the Mega Clover. I was forgetting about the big ball of trees. Yeah, we just smashed our opponent here at the very end. We got very lucky here. I'm not gonna deny that we didn't high roll, but we are gonna be taking this Ruby Whelp. Another score for stealing random buffs. Should we take it? Honestly, no. I'm going to look to fit in our Ruby Whelp here. We're going to still want this flute because that's going to be scaling luck. Is it going to be super necessary, especially since we have so much blueberries? Maybe not here. We'll take it out for now. We will reroll once. Also, a light super for a light Gubert. I am definitely, definitely going to get here. As for flutes, I'm going to leave it out for now and I'm going to move on. We have six rounds to survive. Can we actually survive for these six rounds? I'm going to begin the classic double axe scaling Zerker here. However, they have no buffs. We have all the buffs. They're just starting to get some buffs, but... Yeah, it's not going to be enough here. This is going crazy, actually. I want the lightsaber. I'm going to reroll here. I'm going to sell the flute. We actually didn't look like we needed all too much there. Funny pack. We're going to remove... The pineapple for one round. Is that going to be okay? Probably. We get a lot stronger after the next round. It's also another pineapple. Which would make our hedgehog go crazy. Glad you went over here. Yeah, potentially we do want another spike generating thing here. Because our hedgehog is going to be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, the pet build here. Especially being super lucky getting gingerbread jerry. We are so strong. It's not even funny. Although this Reaper class is putting up quite a decent fight, but they just lost all their HP here. Let's see here. Towards the end. Actually, our lightsaber was dealing a lot of DPS. We probably should have just kept our lightsaber in because it's using up our generation to inflict that blind. But yeah. yeah so basically what happened was our poison did damage. Our poison did damage. Our lightsaber did damage. Then our Hedgehog did damage. And then our Manasters did damage. Super fast. And that's what took him out here. But yeah, we still have four more rounds to get even stronger. And yeah, with this Light Gubert, our opponent shouldn't be able to hit us all too much and we heal for a lot more. And now we also have our Ruby up as well. Also increasing our DPS. I will be taking a Pineapple. I will be rerolling here. We'll take this a little bit of storage and we'll add this in like so. As for a box of riches, getting some jewels on our dragons and our weapons might not be too bad here. We also have a rat here. Every four seconds deal five damage, 70% chance to inflict poison, 10% chance to inflict blind here. Might as well add a rat to our backpack. That night carrying a rat around. Let's go ahead and get an aircon collar as well for that crit chance. 
And yeah, let's see if we can deal again this Mega Clover build with Tim here. We're going to be removing all their luck. So their crit chance is going to be significantly lower. And also, they're not going to be able to hit us because we're going to be decreasing their accuracy. Yeah, we're at 420 life. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. This has been super strong build here. We definitely want another Hedgehog. So we are going to be trying to fit that in. Let us in here for now. We'll move things around just uh, like so. We'll add a ruby back up here. We'll add in our hedgehog like so. Add a bird back in. We need that lucky clover for that crit chance. Got our acorn color here as well. Given crit chance on our pets here. We're one goal short. We're just literally one goal short of getting this hedgehog, which we desperately, desperately want. Is it worth selling a blueberries here? I'm gonna say yeah. We're gonna get our hedgehog in. This hedgehog is gonna be dealing a lot of crit damage. However, we're gonna have to have you like so. Which is not terribly awesome. Also, this aircon color would be best suited in like this position, but it is what it is. We'll see how this goes. This is like Gobert and this Rube Bulb and big ball of treats here and high rolling off the back in Gingerbread Jerry has been leading to probably a super unbelievably strong build. Gonna begin another big ball of treats here. We'll see how they compare to us. They are super blinded. We are stealing all their buffs. They are trying to steal our buffs. However, we scale the max life with Gingerbread Jerry, which is going to not even make this fly even close here. I'm pretty sure we could just start the next battle and just not even spend our gold here and just win out the rest. We'll take another rat. We'll take a, another protective purse. We could have actually took another bird. Might as well add another rat to the build. And we're one gold shard again. Should we sell this? I don't think so. We'll add the rat in over here. Actually, like so. Then for this rat, we'll add down here too, since you get the crit chance as well. Honestly, we want to move our banana. Our banana is not even going to be much use here. We want to be scaling up spikes as much as possible. This will be a lot better of a situation. It'll also help our like Cooper trigger that much faster. And we are going to sell our banana here. We're not going to want it anymore. I will reroll once. And awesome. We got the best item. Stone to finish it out. Let's move on to the next one. We could have actually took another icon color here, but let's see how we fare again a scale warden build. Scale warden builds are super strong in my opinion as well. Can our pets out pet their pets? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Especially stealing their heat. Our gingerbread jerry can go crazy then. And yeah, we still had over 300 life. Should we take a ruby egg for the final round? I don't think so. I think we just leave it and move on. Burning coal here, actually, would make a lot of sense because that is one way to generate heat. But yeah, we have one more round to survive. Another pineapple we are going to be taking here. And more than likely, more than likely trying to take this letter back. And we're going to try to sort out our inventory here to the best position that we can. So be back in one second while we sort out our inventory. So welcome back for right now. We have our light cupboard being the light show in the middle here. We have our big ball of treats here with our star of the show, Gingerbread Jerry, going crazy for us. Then we have our two squirrels here, being the thieves that they are, stealing everything. We have our bird here, focusing our damage dealing pets here. Then we have our crit chance on our pets, like so. Then we have our Lucky Clover here. Not too important. We have our second Ruby Belt down here. And we also have our Manitars being crits as well as for Light Coopers. But yeah, this has been our final setup. It has been absolutely insane. And let's roll with it and see what we can achieve in the final round here. We're going to begin a Berserker with an Anvil here. All these count as crafted items. But yeah, they have the Anvil set up here with max value. On their double axe here, which has a cooldown of 1.1, one, 
and the stamina cost is 1.5, which is pretty awesome. And they have instant damage from 30 to 36, and their scale and max HP with their cheese here. We'll see how it fares against us. The longer the battle goes on, the stronger and stronger this double axe is going to get. However, they won't be able to hit us with the blind. And yeah, the battle's just over like that. This has been a crazy build. Super, super strong here. Gingerbread Jerry with the big ball of treats. Is crazy. Is insane. We got 25 rank points, which is super awesome. We managed to survive with five lives left. Pretty sure at least the last two rounds we could have just fast forwarded and finished it off. It was that strong. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this build. It was so awesome and very, very, very strong. But anyways, this is where we're going to leave it for now. I just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. And I hope you keep looking for the next one. See you next time.